Hello, on October 17th, I received a vision, and on this vision, I saw some maps, and on these maps, they were beige maps and had little sections on them with little orange sections. And so here's like an orange section here. And on the map, like this, it happened to be a map of South Dakota. And also when I was looking at the information, there was always like something there, like something covering, like the map was there, but like, it's like, do you really want to see this? Do you really want to, to know this? You know, something was kind of covering. And it took, took a while to try to figure out what it said. And it gave me a family member's name. And it showed me a cross. And so it was like just like a map. And it, and it was in South Dakota. And like our family lives down south. So nowhere near South Dakota. But so here's a, you know, whoa, how's my family member? How'd he get it? How he, she get up there, you know? And, um... And then later again, showed me another family member and another state, you know, on the map. And then this time it showed me, you know, my name. So, Reboot 70. Ha ha ha. But yeah, so it showed my name. I did not get to see which state it was. But yeah, it showed, so it showed the cross there. And I'm like, aww. You know, so if I... So I'm assuming the cross meant that we passed away. And so I guess that means I didn't get taken in the rapture. Aw, you know, sadness. Um, but then I heard a voice. And the voice said, by by doing this method, that 80% of the Christians will be gathered. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's good then. Um, so, so this is, you know, a good ratio, you know. 80% of all Christians, you know, will be able to, you know, to be gathered to go to heaven. And the other 20%, I can assume that they, re that they renounced Lord Jesus. And see, if you save your life on earth, then you do not save uh, your life in heaven. You know, so you have to choose to, um, you know, the end ending, ending your life. Uh, by saving your life on earth, you're not saving your life in heaven. And there is a passage, and I'm sure it's in the book of Ma uh, Matthew, and I'll try to make a reference to that, you know, later in the description section. But yeah, saving your life here, you will lose it. That, I think that's what it says, yeah. So that was uh, the first half of the vision. Uh, the second half of the vision showed me a grand ballroom entrance. And so, like, this is up in heaven. And it was just huge, huge building inside the building. So this is, you know, this line here. So that's, you know, inside the building. And then the gate opened. And uh, so, yeah, see, these are openings, you know, in the doorway. And it opened this way. And there were actually like around 200 people, all different sizes and shapes, all different people wearing whatever, you know, they were wearing before. And just all coming in, you know, they look so small, boop, 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 you know, just all coming in into the, into this, uh, grand hallway. And yeah, the gates just look so huge and tall. And that was just so like, wow, you know, so, so yeah, you don't want to miss that, you know, that, uh, please choose Lord Jesus. Um, and so, yeah, I guess I had a question, uh, no, not a question, but I, I did wonder, why is it, you know, that uh, a family member was all the way up in South Dakota? Uh, because our family's down south. So how did we get this family member way up there? And so two possibilities is maybe with the FEMA camp, you know, that they just ship you up there and eventually you pass away and that's where the resting place was. So that's one possibility. Uh, the other possibility could be due to the... Um, like if it was the tsunami with Puerto Rico and the asteroid, and then the water would move, you know, wherever the the people are, because we're we're down south, and then it would lift us up, you know, in the in the in the big wave, and then by the time you finish, you stop on you stop on land, and then the water recedes, 
and then uh, that's where maybe, uh, you know, what that's how one of the family members ended up in South Dakota. So, so I want to say thank you, dear Lord Jesus. You know, thank you so much for showing us this information. You know, it, it helps us to be prepared. We love you, dear Lord Jesus. Um, yeah, but yeah, if this is due to a FEMA camp, we will not renounce you, dear Lord. We will not be the unlucky ones in the the twenty percent that renounced you, dear Lord Jesus. We do not want to be in that group. We want to be in the eighty percent that get to go to heaven, that get to be with you, that get to see your face. We want to see your face, dear Lord Jesus. Okay. Ta da. We want to go to that grand ballroom. We want to take a look. We want to check out the place. All right. Thanks, everyone, and God bless.